Hello, uh, Des. Uh, this is a uh, prophecy for Des, and uh, I pray that uh, this uh, reaches you well. Um, I just pray to the Father, dear Father. I pray that uh, you give me a word for Des, one to encourage her, to lift her up, and to give her peace. In Jesus' name, I ask. Amen. Um, I had another look at your email. I went and found it. And um, as regards Rebecca, you said that um, you had an inner voice speak to you and said uh, things are going to be all right and be patient. Um, as part of, um, I, I haven't got, I, I've just got some advice that I've uh, uh, got from uh, my Christian life. Um, the only way to know if that voice uh, is uh, God speaking to you um, is for you to be patient and um, and wait and see what happens and see if it resolves like the voice said it does um, I've had um, God speak to me and I've also had a false voice speak to me and uh, I've had to learn how to discern when it is God and when it is this false voice speaking and uh, we only learn that uh, discernment through practice and uh, putting things to the test so um, God won't speak to me um, about that um, specifically but I do know in scripture that um, uh, it says delight uh, yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart that's what scripture says about this issue um, it also says in scripture that uh, he considers uh, the just and uh, he he makes the paths right for the righteous um, he orders the paths for the righteous um, he surrounds uh, the righteous with with love and with family um, there's plenty of scriptures in the Bible that support that happening for you um, I, I suppose we've got just got to trust in the goodness of God. Uh, God is very aware that you want this relationship to happen and um, and so um, we've just got to trust him that uh, things will go okay. Um, I, I've, it, it's like uh, if God gave you um, a message through me saying that um, that uh, yes that was him speaking and you need to be patient you still have to be patient um, if if God told me to tell you that isn't uh, the voice uh, of his and uh, Rebecca's not going to be part of your life um, you'd be afraid to listen to the voice uh, from that time on because you'd think it was the enemy speaking all the time so it's sort of uh, can you understand it's sort of a question that uh, God wants to play out you know it's for your benefit if you be patient and for it to work out okay for you um, then everything will be okay um, so besides that um, we've got some time uh, for me to uh, give you a prophetic word and uh, and um, thank you for uh, the donation um, I get a lot of requests uh, uh, of total strangers uh, to do prophecy and it just um, takes uh, uh, effort out of me it takes uh, you know me getting into the anointing and getting into the right spirit to actually do a prophecy and I've done thousands for free now and uh, I just got burnt out I just got sick and tired of uh, people that were strangers to me asking me to go on behalf of God and get a message for them and um, half the time or over half the time people didn't even write back and say thank you when I gave them a prophetic word and it just wears really thin so I protect myself now with the fact that if they want a prophetic word um, they can give me a donation um, and that's their way of saying thanks when I um, seek the Lord for you I get the impression that you've got a, a really soft heart um, you've got a heart that um, really uh, 
wants the best for everybody. Um, you're a person who uh, is uh, a giver, you're not only a giver of your finances, like if someone is in need, uh, you financially help them, but um, you're also a giver of your time. You're very um, loving and, and emotional and uh, very kind and good, you know, two of the fruits of the Spirit are goodness and kindness and you've got both of them in spades. Um, you really uh, do give uh, in relationships, you're uh, the person who gives. Um, you've got so much love and compassion for people that uh, you go out of your way to give and uh, you um, You've just always been like this. Uh, you know what it is to uh, be in lack. You know what it is to uh, be used and uh, not appreciated. And so you do your um, utmost to uh, supply people's needs and uh, overcompensate sometimes with your love and your compassion. Um, it's just because you know how not to be treated. Uh, you've uh, had some pain and difficulty in your life and uh, had some uh, things that have come against you that uh, what wasn't particularly nice. And out of that heartache and that pain, you've developed uh, this resilience, this ability to bounce back. And uh, you've got this... Uh, attitude that uh, I'll get knocked down but I'll get up again and nothing's going to keep me down. Um, there was a popular song by the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones that says, I get knocked down but I get up again. Nothing's going to keep me down. Um, and uh, that uh, song is true of you. Uh, you. You keep on getting knocked down and you keep on getting up. And um, the Lord wants you to know that regardless of whether Rebecca uh, relationship uh, solidifies in your life, you will uh, get on and you will persevere. I've got a um, book. Uh, it will be out in Kindle soon, but it's just in paperback at the moment. It's called Jesus Speaking Today. And uh, it's got a whole lot of uh, beautiful messages in it from Jesus. And uh, it's one that I recommend you read. Uh, um, it really encourages there's another book um, that um, I really love also um, and uh, I've got a copy of it here it's called Jesus Calling and uh, you can get that from a Christian bookstore I noticed you're in Australia so you can get that from a Kurong bookstore um, um, and that's uh, 365 messages from Jesus. And uh, my book has got 67 messages and it's 140 pages. Um, I, I, I know that Jesus loves you. And uh, it just seems that uh, you're going over this. I just see this picture of... Uh, like a roller coaster of mountains and valleys, and your 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 life uh, seems to go uh, in in those stages. And you know, maybe most people's lives goes uh, mountains and ranges. I know um, I've got uh, disability bipolar, and I go into depression, and I get high too. Um, and uh, so I know what sadness is about and depression is about. Um, I know that Jesus uh, wants to be close to you and wants to develop you uh, further. I, I suggest that uh, you um, ask Jesus some questions. Um, just ask him some questions and get him to uh, answer you um, by using your name uh, before he starts a sentence. Um, ask him some questions and then type out the answers uh, and in an email to me, write out the questions and write out the answers that he gives you as homework. And uh, I'll be able to read the answers and tell you if that was really Jesus speaking. So why don't we do that for practice? Uh, you just ask him one or two questions and then type out what he says as the answer. And uh, I pray that uh, Jesus will speak to you and uh, give you answers and uh, that you'll be able to type them out. So write to me and type them out and um, and I'll uh, tell, 
tell me that uh, I set that as homework for you um, and, uh, and I'll give you feedback uh, whether that was Jesus speaking and uh, whether you can trust that voice. Um, he dearly loves you. Um, you know, uh, if it was Jesus speaking uh, to say to, to wait and be patient, um, you need to wait and be patient. Um, I, I just... Um, I'm very aware that you've got a soft heart and uh, God wants to uh, minister to your heart and uh, there's uh, many promises in the Bible. I really feel that um, my book, uh, Jesus Speaking Today and this book, Jesus Calling, I really think that these books would uh, really minister to you and speak to your heart and really bless you. And um, I'm not uh, someone who just sells my books um, uh, randomly. Um, you may wait a couple of weeks uh, and ask me when it's on Kindle so you can download it to your computer. It'll only be 99 cents. Um, I, I, I know that uh, that book will encourage you in, in time. So write to me. Uh, do your homework, ask Jesus a couple of questions and type out his answers and uh, show me uh, what he says. God bless.